Hi Pisces, welcome to your new love reading for August 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Divinely Guided Tarot. Much love and support to her and hopefully you get a chance to check her out, show her some love and support as well if you like what she has to say. This is intended for a romantic love reading but it could be a new situation involving a job, friends, family, maybe reconciling with a family member or a new friendship, that sort of thing. Um, lastly, this also could be a new love situation. And when I say that, there's been some readings where exes show up. So it could be that this person's been out of your life. This isn't supposed to be an ex reading, but they've shown up a couple times. So just saying, it could be an ex returning, but it's, it's looking to the future with someone new, but that ex has come back in a couple readings, just saying. So it's more like a new love situation for August. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces. 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 Six of Wands. All right. Nine of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. The Moon. So it could be Pisces or Cancerian, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, we got two nines. Yay for that. Oh, three nines. Three nines. All right. There you are, Pisces, King of Cups. Also Pisces or Cancerian. Huh. Honestly, I'm wondering if this might be somebody from your past. I'm just saying. We shall see. We shall see. This could be Leo. Knight of Wands. That could be Leo. Let's see here. Crikey. All right. Oh. This is someone that's just gonna, in the moment, gonna go with the flow and they like life and they like people and they like you. <laughs> and it's very simple for them. Whoever this is, is gonna be very simple. They go with the flow. They're, it's, yeah. It might move, the, the thing that might bother you though is it might move at too slow of a pace. It, like it might, um, things might not be, you might be questioning, are they really interested in me? And the thing is, is that yes, they are, but they don't take anything too seriously until it's time to do so. So they're just going with the flow and enjoying the time they spend with you. And, and that's that. And you two are um, very much on the same page. This is someone that you feel good about being with, that you feel like is a friend and is someone who is in support of you and a good person. Um, but it's not going to take off for, for another three months or so. So you're going to meet them this month, Pisces, but probably by November-ish you'll be up and running or there'll be more expressed interest. But for right now, for the month of October, they might be keeping things, they might be keeping their feelings guarded because the, the thing about them, when they're in it, they're in it, but they don't want to throw themselves in it after just one or two meetings because then it could go sour and then it's just dramatic mess and they're just like, well, that was a flop you know so this is someone that takes their time with things and just enjoys the moment what's this nine of cups about judgment <laughs> this is wheel of fortune about i i just i laugh because yeah see it's suited i was gonna say this is someone that you're gonna feel um this could be an ex returning. I mean, we got judgment and we're suited here. So this could be an ex from a while ago, but they don't have any hard feelings towards you and they're just kind of happy to be in the same room at this point. So they're going to, that maybe that's why things might move slowly is because they're like, well, let's just see how this goes. Cause I'm not throwing all my eggs in one basket again. We've been here before and I don't want to, you know, neither one of us are interested in going through that again. So this could be an ex. If it's not an ex, this is someone that you feel um, there is going to be a, quite the connection at first. There is going to be an attraction at first. If it's not an ex, there's going to have there's going to be a familiarity with this person. 
So not an X, still that familiarity. What's this Page of Pentacles about? The star. Also boobies. Just saying, boobies. What's this Nine of Pentacles about? Five of Cups. All right. Moon out. The magician. So the nice thing about the connection with this person is they're going to be able, they're going to help get you over a hump um, of how you might have been feeling kind of like, oh, you know, like a loss of faith or discouraged or whatnot, disappointed, all that. But they're going to really make you feel okay about that. Not that that's their job, but just being in connection with them is gonna be pretty grounding for you. So if you've been having a tough time lately, whoever this new person coming in is, is gonna be like a, a fresh a breath air. <laughs> they're gonna be like a breath of fresh air because they're gonna, they're just gonna be in the moment. It's gonna be very freeing to kind of see them or see them that way because there's gonna be no drama and it's just gonna be situationally specific like hey do you want to go do this hey let's go do that hey. and when you're with them you have a really great time and there's this emotional connection which is really nice and there's also this is somebody that you get along with with really well so it's just going to be this natural fit but they are going to want to take things slow maybe they see that you're kind of struggling with something they don't want to crowd that they also are going to be guarding their emotions so they're not going to want to get hurt either so it's going to be kind of this, and things aren't going to take off for you two for, like I said, about three months. But you probably at times are going to doubt how they feel. Like, do they feel? Because when you're together, you seem to have a really great time, but they're not like, okay, well, they're not going to be having the talk with you for a while. It's like, you know, it'll, it'll kind of maybe occur to them, hey, you know, out of the blue, like when you haven't heard from them for a couple days, hey. Let's go do this or something, but it's going to be situation. It's going to like hop from situation to situation. There's going to be no expectancy. And I think it's quite honestly because they might be um, testing the waters. And if they see that you're disappointed about something or that you're kind of struggling or whatever, that they might be hopeful that things are going to work out over, over time, but they're also willing to take it slow so that it can because they don't want to muck it up. They like you just as much as you like them. They see the potential, but... Um, they also want to be respectful if you're dealing with something. So they're not going to be r rushing on anything anytime soon, and they're not looking to get emotionally involved until it, it's right to do so. There's an attraction, but they don't want to get hurt, you know? So it's almost like having fun and taking it slow until you aren't, and then you're taking it fast, right? we got the Knight of Wands here. But there might be some confusion on as to how they feel about you just because they might not, they might not be making their feelings readily known to you at first. Nothing wrong with that, but there is kind of a, a kismet feel to this person or, I mean, we got the nine of cups and judgment here. This is someone that is just, after all they've been through, I mean, we're, we got king and queen energy here. After all they've been through, um, and they've been through a lot, I mean, they're, they're kind of a veteran. They, they're kind of just happy to be in the room and, and happy to find someone that is of their liking after all this time, that sort of thing. After all the experiences that they've had, they still are able to feel attraction and connection with someone. All right. Again, this could be somebody from, I mean, we've got judgment and we're suited. So this could be an ex. Second time around with somebody, right? Going with the flow, seeing what happens, taking it slow. Working things out, being on the same page about things kind of starting to discuss some disappointments and how's this going to work and how do you feel about this and what happened then. Could be that. Talking about how this is going to work, clearing up a lot of um, a lot of illusion, a lot of suspicion, a lot of like, well, I thought this, and a lot of uh, misunderstandings. Could be that. That's for Pisces. Judgment again. Oh boy. So this could be somebody from your past. 
If it is not, this is someone who has recently probably gone through something pretty heavy duty like a divorce, a move, a death in it. If somebody that's gone through something that's kind of called quite a bit into question for them and they've kind of spent some time examining things, they've been really thinking about things, they learned a few things in that examination. It's like some issues have come home to roost for them. So this is somebody who's kind of been through it and they come out of it having a deeper awareness and knowledge of what matters to them because of going through their past and being in review and kind of looking at things from both sides and all that. So this is somebody, if it's not somebody from your past, it's someone that's been through a few major things that has a new perspective that it has more of like a kingly mature, and it could be male or female, a uh, mature energy about things. So they are okay with discussing things. They are okay with giving you your space if you're disappointed. They are okay with taking things slow. And because of this heavy duty judgment, we got it twice, this could be Cancerian, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, they're just happy to be in the moment. Like they're, it's like this, this um, a weight's been lifted now that they've kind of come full circle and they just wanna live their life and enjoy it and they're gonna go with the flow. And they're looking for what matters, which looks like here is emotional connection. So win-win, right? <laughs> All right. All right. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Oh my gosh, look at that. The moon. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> the moon here so yeah this is someone that's gonna be this could be someone from your past that you two start talking again and you want answers about like there's a lot that you two need to discuss about what was never cleared up from the past um if it's not that this could be someone that you feel a strong psychic connection to you feel very intuitively drawn to there's a certain allure and mystery about them that you find very appealing and there's a there's this sort of karmic psychic fit. Just saying. All right, what else for? Again, this is about going with the flow too, because there's a lot that's going to be unknown that you're just going to have to day by day, situation by situation. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? This this I gotta say though, this feels good. I mean, it just, it just feels like someone who's kind of owning their own stuff and not wanting to burden anybody, but they just really like the connection they have with you and they're willing to give it time and take it day by day. That's pretty cool. That's for Pisces. Oh, the moon reversed. <laughs> and the chariot reversed. Look at that. Someone that's going to be hands off, not driving it, not being forceful and aggressive and we got to drive this home. And someone that's not going to let the fear or um or suspicion detour them this is seeing through the fogginess understanding your stuff not forcing it just being present in the moment not forcing it and seeing through all the bs and all the fog being very clear about what has gone on and whose fault was what blame goes both ways both sides and not being scared or insecure about the future anymore having a very firm grip on who you are and what you want and not forcing it. The answer does not lie in forcing it. <laughs> when in doubt, force it. No. <laughs> so this is, that. that's that, that emotional maturity right there. Very cool. Okay, all right, Pisces. This, this was a pleasure to read. Some of these have been a little bit heavy, <laughs> a little bit layered and nuanced. So this was, this is kind of nice. This is somebody who owns their stuff. Emotional maturity, that's very cool. All right, I hope this helps you. Um, I, I wish you luck with this. I hope that, um, <laughs> looks like it's imminent. Looks like it's gonna be happening within the month of August. So get ready. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next reading and you take care.